Y'all know me, I'm Dr. B, and this is The Buzz on Blocked Tear Ducts. A blocked tear duct is a very common problem. We see them maybe two or three times a week in newborns and kids in the first several weeks of, of life especially. This is how the system is actually supposed to work. This is a child's right eye. The nose is over here. The tear gland is out here by the eyebrow, and it's constantly making a little bit of tears just to keep the eye moist. By the way, newborns do not make visible tears when they cry. It usually takes about a month or two before those will actually start coming out, but they do make tiny little amount of tears just to moisturize the eye. The tears as they build up are supposed to go into these two little holes, the tear ducts, we call them a punctum, which is just an opening, and that goes into the tear sac and then that goes into the nose. And that's one reason when you cry, your nose runs because your tears end up going into the nose. Everyone has had a little bit of discharge or buildup that gets in the corner of their eye. Some people call it sleep in the eye or an eye booger, which is pretty gross. Eye hockey is what we always called it in my family. I don't know if it was a hockey or you're playing hockey to get it out. I'm not sure. That's what we called it, which is, now that I think about it, probably even more gross. The official medical term is room, R-H-E-U-M. Unfortunately, newborns and younger, younger babies can sometimes get this recurrently in this area because this tears collect and they can't get into this duct or this duct because it's narrowed or it's clogged up or maybe just some debris has gotten in there. And so they'll collect these tears come by and they'll kind of collect on the eye and it kind of be built up here. And it can even get kind of stringy across the eye. As long as the white part of the eye is still white and not red. We don't see redness or swelling, especially redness or swelling in this area. Then it means that this is just a blocked tear duct and it shouldn't be an infection. The only thing you're going to need to do is massage this area. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But one other thing, if the child has a stuffy nose so that this is not flowing out this way very well, you know, you get maybe this is blocked off because there's really stuffy nose, then obviously this isn't going to drain very well and you're going to get more goop on here. So newborns can have this happen even without a stuffy nose, uh, but stuffy nose, it may be even more often and maybe even more, more thick and gross. But again, white part of the eye, not red. You don't really have to get too excited. How do we manage this? Well, if you feel your own eye right there, you'll feel a little rubbery bump. That is what we want to massage when we fix this. What you want to do is you want to take your pinky nail, cut the nail as short as you can, and maybe even file it a little bit so it's not sharp because we don't want to scrape the baby's face and make a little cut there. Then we'll have another problem to deal with. Wash your hands, and then you want to massage this area right here. And just massage this area up and down for, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. But do it very often. Do it several times throughout the day. Make sure, again, that you do keep your, fing your fingers clean before you do this. But massage this. And sometimes when you rub that, some discharge will come out of that. And then it, it should be okay for the next few days. It will come back. I would just say it's going to come back. In fact, um, this may happen over and over for months and months. But usually, in the end, it will go away after a few months. If you find that you're doing this and it's just not getting better, it's really thick, the massage isn't helping, maybe there's even a little redness, you're concerned that it's getting infected, then very often we will use an antibiotic eye drop. That can thin out the mucus and also can cut down on any bacteria that might have decided to set up shop in the eye. Now let's say you've been dealing with this problem for 12 months and it's just not getting better. Well, 12 months is a magic number. After that, we usually send you to the ophthalmologist so that they can take a look at this and see if they can fix it once and for all. Remember, kids get this very, very often when they're born. We see it two or three times a week. We send maybe one or at most two kids to the ophthalmologist a year for this problem. It's not very, very common. So it's really not something you need to worry about. I'll tell you what they do. They take a tiny little probe and they widen out these ducts so that it flows better. The kids put it under brief general anesthesia so they don't feel anything and then it should be all better after that. Thanks for watching today. I appreciate all the likes and the subscriptions. Uh, I'm just having a great time doing this and I hope you enjoy it too. 
Y'all know me, I'm Dr. B, and this has been The Buzz on Parenting and Pediatrics. We'll see you next time.